Today's daily dose of math is about the slide. We call this a translation in math. It's one of the transformations that we have to learn about. A slide has the distance and a direction. For instance, with this black hexagon, the direction is sliding down towards the lower right and the distance is four centimeters. I'll show what the copy of the hexagon will look like after the slide. So this copy hexagon has slid four centimeters in exactly the direction that's shown with this arrow. And we label the arrow T. T is short for translation. But let's do another one and we'll do it more carefully because you can't just judge by eye if you want your drawing to turn out perfectly. So let's look at the red square. Notice how we have labeled the vertices with letters A, B, C, and D. We can see that this time the slide is upwards and a bit to the left and it's a much shorter distance. What we'll do is we'll measure the translation line to see how far it has to go and then we draw some lines from each vertex in the same direction and the same distance. It'll look like this. Then if we connect the dots at the ends of those lines we get our copy and we show which is the original and which is the copy by putting the same letters but with the little prime symbol. The original is A, B, C, D. The copy is A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. This technique is a careful way to do your translation so that you can hopefully get full marks on a drawing question. The lines that we draw from the vertices, I don't want my student to erase those. Those are called construction lines and they show me that the student was using proper technique. If something went wrong and the copy drawing was not in the right place, I can tell by the construction lines whether at least some of the process the student was using was correct, and therefore I would be able to give some partial marks. This is the translation, also known as the slide. It is today's daily dose of math. Please like, subscribe, and share.